Our school, our method. This is the Bronx Charter School for the Arts Middle School Method. The middle school method consists of five equal parts, each one responsible for building a solid foundation for middle school and beyond. Let's begin with the first part. Dance, theater, visual arts, and music. Those are the majors we have at Bronx Arts Middle School. Each scholar will identify their major before the school year starts. This will be done during Summer Bridge. In each of these majors, there is a unique process of work, what we call the artist process. All four have their own unique artist process. It's what an artist must do, training, studio time, or rehearsal specific to each art form. The processes are based on classical training and can be challenging. They require skill and discipline and repetition till mastery. The artist process builds perseverance, something we value at Bronx Arts Middle School. Artists cannot give up, and giving up is not an option for our students. We teach the artist process and we have them do it throughout their arts as well as their academic classes as well because the skill, discipline, and repetition are necessary at, in all of these. Artist process will teach our scholars how to overcome obstacles because if they have big dreams, they require big effort. And to aid them in this artist process is the growth mindset approach. Growth mindset was developed by Carol Dweck, a Stanford professor, and what it is is a framework that should be used at any time we encounter a challenge or frustration in something we are trying to achieve. The breakdown is simple. You have two types of mindsets. There is a fixed mindset where a person believes what they can and cannot do is innate. This person believes you cannot get better at something, you just either have the talent for it or you do not. These people stick to what they know, they don't like to receive feedback, and if frustrated, they easily give up. Fixed mindset individuals tend to achieve less and learn less than those without a fixed mindset. The opposite is a growth mindset. Growth mindset is a different way of looking at a challenge. You believe that you can develop your abilities and talent, that a challenge can help you grow, and that feedback is constructive. What is most different between the two is that a growth mindset appreciates and understands that in order to get better, you must have an effort. Effort is necessary. Effort is what a growth mindset is all about because with effort, research has shown that our brains actually have the ability to get bigger and stronger. Therefore, we will promote and teach the growth mindset to all of our scholars. Another form of teaching that we will employ at the Bronx Arts Middle School is the visual thinking strategies. These strategies have been used with students in order for them to evaluate works of art. But beyond evaluating fine art, photography, and sculpture, the visual thinking strategies actually have other added benefits. Being able to evaluate works of art teaches student scholars how to observe independently and report observations. It also teaches them how to make a claim and base it on evidence, not just something they believe, but actually evidence. This aids our students in class discussion that later on translates into class writing. The strategies build public speaking confidence and improve student writing throughout. Visual thinking strategies will be used in the arts classes as well as academics. The last step is the artist palette. And no, it's not a real artist palette. We call it the palette because no artist would ever leave their home to work without their palette and their paint. We expect the same of our scholars and their supplies. Therefore, each scholar will receive their own palette. The palette at Bronx Arts is rather a three ring binder. This three ring binder is provided to all and inside it will have a student planner and a pen and pencil pouch. Each one of these will be provided at no cost to all of our scholars. However, 
only the first one will be free. If a student loses their palette, they would have to buy their replacement palette, and it must be a Bronx Arts uh, three ring binder. Families, all what you need to provide to the palette, paper and the pens and pencils to go into the pouch. This palette is an organizational tool and we are teaching our scholars to become more organized. We expect them to bring the palette daily and use it daily. It goes home and it returns to school each day, teaching and reinforcing responsibility and how to use a planner. It is mandatory for our morning greeting as they come into the school shaking hands with the principal. And in order to keep our scholars in check with the method, we have something we call BASE, the Bronx Art Soaring Scholars. Each letter of the word BASE stands for qualities that we believe each scholar must have in order to be the best scholar they can be. Let's begin with the first. The B in BASE means be your best. At Bronx Arts Middle School, our scholars always put their best foot forward, in and out of school. Examples of how to be your best at school include respecting peers and adults, wearing your uniform, and putting forth your best effort. Also, you will follow all school and classroom rules. Attend school each day because attendance counts and we expect scholars to be on time and present each day. Attendance expectations every scholar should meet are attending school each day, coming to class on time and prepared, and participating in class by asking and answering questions. Showing respect for self and others is a very important quality at Bronx Arts Middle School. We believe in respect 100%. It comes in many forms and you respect peers, elders, and people of authority. All of that is a reflection on how you respect yourself. So show pride in all you do, respond appropriately, and strive for unity in class, grade, and school. Lastly, succeed academically. Because when you succeed academically, you succeed artistically. At Bronx Arts, we are scholar artists, meaning we are good at academics and the arts. Both require you to have a goal and to persevere. So to succeed, you should complete homework on time, including your class assignments and projects, and always, always, always persevere through difficult tasks and obstacles. All of that spells out a soaring scholar. The Bronx Arts Middle School Method, building a solid foundation for middle school and beyond.